The results are in. We had a small poll going on. Which kit is going to receive the Spectrum Firma Brushless Motor ESC combo? Came down to the Fire Dragon, Thunder Dragon, and the Terra Scorcher. It was a close race. I tallied the results in superficial format as per always. And would you look at that? It's a tie. Tie for the Thunder Dragon and the Terra Scorcher. Oh my gosh. And the Fire Dragon in a very, very close last place. So what am I supposed to do? I can't draw this out any further. I have to pick one. And I have to say that my gut went with a kit right off the get-go. Kit was a Terra Scorcher. I really want to make a new running video with this kit. So uh, let's just say like I'm no Steven Spielberg and uh, that wasn't my best video. And I want to I want to do this kit justice with a really, really mint running video. So that setup is going to go in here. Bop, 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 and this thing is going to be an absolute missile. And some of you guys had a few good points. You said like this is kind of the most race worthy chassis of them all. And, and really it is. Uh, with his sway bars and four shocks and all that kind of jazz. It is super cool to watch a mono shock in the front work. I agree. I love the look of a mono shock. Love, love, love the look of a mono shock. But uh, this is definitely the kit that uh, is probably, you know, it's the most race worthy. So let's put this setup in here. And uh, to be honest, I haven't driven this since last year. I took a closer look at it. And I've even got, I've got a torque tuned motor in here. So... Um, what I might do is throw this torque tuned into the Thunder Dragon uh, because that's the one that I just drove most recently and it felt pretty underpowered. So that'll help out the Thunder Dragon. So all you Thunder Dragon guys, don't worry about it. It's going to get a motor upgrade. This guy's getting a motor. Everyone's getting motor upgrades today. It's going to be a good day. Let's get this thing installed. As always, I've got my fearless sidekick Gary here with me. Fall asleep if you're very enthused about the Terra Scorcher receiving a new motor. Good boy. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing going. Super easy to change these motors out, guys. Just a couple screws. Actually, I'll take the wheel off. Makes it a little easier to work on. That, our motor comes out. So yeah, I was definitely running that torque tuned motor. Work great. Honestly, I felt I felt that this kit was actually very well balanced. It had a good amount of speed. It handled well. Uh, I was really happy with this setup. So this motor is going to go right into the Fire Dragon, or sorry, the Thunder Dragon, uh, who I felt needed a little more juice.
You guys want to know a trick for getting double-sided tape off your servos? Check it out. This double-sided tape here, a little trick, just kind of catch an edge and roll it forward. As you roll, 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 it kind of rolls up on itself. And comes out nice and easy. Things you learn working in a body shop. All right, that guy's out. What do we got for a new motor? Let's drool over this thing again for a hot second. Ooh, ah. One important thing to note, the Spectrum motor comes with a three millimeter output shaft, whereas some of the Ghoul RC stuff, um, especially some of the stuff that I pur purchased recently had a five mil, which is weird. So, Three mil, three mil. This pinion is going to work on this motor, which is a pretty hot little ticket. motor plate da, 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 da. also very important guys make sure you make note of the distance of the base of your pinion to the base of the motor um, that you don't really have well in fact you have none you can't really see if your pinion is meshing with your spur gear properly on this chassis so make sure you've got that distance measured at least mentally so you don't end up with improper gear mesh So really nothing special to note about this portion of the build here, guys, other than, I guess there's two things I'll mention. One is with all these Tamiya motor mounts, you notice a variety of holes. Each one of these holes is used for a different size of pinion gear. You'd have to revert back to the manual to, or refer back to the manual to know which hole is good for which size pinion. I just don't remember off the top of my head, but that's what those holes are all about. And that's the first thing. Second thing to keep in mind is on this particular chassis, there's this little cutout right here that fits into a groove in the chassis. So I know my motor is going to sit like this and I want my motor to sit on this angle. I want my motor leads to be leaning into the chassis so I don't have to really be fishing around for them. And I also would like the Spectrum uh, logo to be revealed. I want you to be able to see it kind of makes it look, you know, a little more appealing to the eye. So drop this cat back on in. Just like that, it's like a glove. That's pretty simple, guys. Motor's installed. Check it out. Oh yeah. We've got that nice Spectrum branding right there. Oh yeah, that looks hot. Looks really good. Really, really good. Now, let's get the Speedo installed. Hooking up the wires. Doesn't get any easier than this kit. Match the color and you're laughing. In fact, if anything, look, these wires, guys, are almost a little too long for this thing. I'll have to get creative in the cockpit here, but we'll do that in a minute. So one of the challenges with this chassis is the fact that we've got this open drive shaft right here. So we do have to make sure we keep these wires away from all that. So what we can do here is see about just routing everything right along like this, maybe. Yeah, there's some space up front. And just do something like this. Man, these are beefy leads. <laughs> 85 amp, yes indeed. Look at the diameter of these wires, they're huge. So, okay, so that'll work. So it's nice the kit came provided with uh, the ESC provided along with a piece of 3M tape. This stuff is the bee's knees. If you're 
in need of good double-sided tape, pick this stuff up. Go to your local auto body shop or auto body supply store and pick up a roll of this stuff. It's not cheap, but uh, if you need it, I'll tell you, this stuff does the trick. It's what we use in the auto body world to hold body side moldings on. That's what they use right from factory. And uh, the stuff is brilliant. It's very, very strong. So I'm going to keep this ESC over to the side a little bit. So I've got some room to route those wires. Boom. That's a thing of beauty right there, Phil. And where are we going to put this little cat? Here, i got to tuck these wires in. Sorry my giant hands in the way, guys. I just, you know how it is. Working on RCs, trying to film yourself working on RCs. Tough life. Oh, look at that right in there. That's where I want to put you. You're so nicely protected. So the bottom of this on off switch has this little nub on it, which I'm not too keen on. Uh, the kit does come with a piece of 3M tape that'll work perfectly right there. But I want to get rid of that little nub. There we go. Silky smooth. Let's get this bad boy on here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice and clean. It's nice and safe. I like it. Major challenge already happening, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, as you know, the Terra Scorcher has a driver figure and it's just consists of like a Lexan tray with the driver's head bolted down. But uh, the way he works is, he, you know, he kind of bolts down right here. Well, this ESC is considerably taller. Look how much higher it sticks up than the chassis. <laughs> so uh, that really, what, what that means guys is when I go to put this bot or this driver figure in, he doesn't quite sit right. I can kind of squeeze them in, but it's well, we can we can wedge them in there. I'm gonna play around with it, see if I can make it work. But uh, you know, there's no point in removing the cooling fan, and this is a, rem a removable cooling fan. I could take these four screws out. In fact, I did off camera and pull this off. But what that exposes, uh, you know, is still you still have these two major capacities, tall capacitors sitting here. And they're just as high as the fan, so they really they they just uh, affect the ability of the driver to sit properly anyway. So there's no way around it. If you want to run this ESC, you are going to have to either a get creative with your driver figure, or b get rid of the driver figure. I'll play around with that off camera, and you'll know which decision I chose when you see the running video. <laughs> And speaking of running videos, stay tuned because I'm going to get this guy out on the beach really soon and open him up and see what this thing's all about because it's going to have a ton more power than it did. And uh, man, I'm really excited to get this thing out and get it ripping. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please throw them down in the comment section below. Always happy to answer you guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Please throw down a thumbs up. Really means a lot to us YouTube content creators these days. Always has. Today, even more so. Really appreciate it if you guys did. As always, be excellent to each other.